All right, so once you're here and you've gone through and you've done your five cuts, one, two, three, four, five, you take your time and you take care and you're gonna come through and you're gonna knock these out. And by knocking those out, you're gonna really give yourself a lot less work to do rather than trying to chisel each section out. So for that, I'm gonna come down here. I'm just gonna grab this and I put it in that first hole. I'm just gonna tap lightly with a mallet. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, you definitely can kind of, yeah, it's in the sort of thing. Tap it lightly with a mallet. And what you'll notice is these have actually started to chip out of it. You've also taken a bit of that, but that's all right. Come down here, go one way, then you can go back the other. Now the reason we don't just come here and just whack it down is because it can actually end up damaging this portion through here. But if you go from each side, you should find that you're starting to be able to chip those out. And then by applying a little bit of force, you're able to remove the excess. From there, you've got this section here, which is bumpy and messy, and we need to clean that up. To clean that up, there's a couple things you need to make sure you're doing. Number one is never, ever go through and chisel the whole way through one direction or the other. If you go through the whole way, you're gonna find that ultimately it's gonna chip out and be really ugly. Now I've said it here, and I'll say it one more time, and if you chip out the edge, I'm gonna give you detention because you didn't listen. So step one, 10 minutes detention if you chip out. Just be aware of that. Step one is go halfway to the center and then go halfway back. I'm gonna show you a little bit what that looks like. So normally I'd always chisel away from me, but for the sake of the video, I'm gonna come over here. He's gonna start a little bit above where that line is. And I'm just gonna chip this through. And we're just trying to remove all the way down to that line, any excess material. Now, I'm taking my time. I'm not taking huge cuts out. I'm doing about a mill at a time and very light taps. I don't get here now and I'm not reefing the chisel up. I'm bringing it back and I'm gonna go back down again. I'm gonna just trim that ever so lightly. Now, once I've cut that in a bit, I'm gonna come back through from the other direction. And then I'd come here and I'd come through. Now, just for the view of the camera, I'm gonna spin it around. What I'm hopefully, what hopefully you guys are getting is that I'm not even going straight to the line here. So I'm coming a little bit higher up and then I just take a little bit out. And the reason we do that is because sometimes it can want to grab. And by grabbing, I mean it's gonna rip out more timber than required. Now, once you've got that sorted, I'm gonna come through. You're gonna come down to that line there. You're gonna put it in that line. And we're gonna chisel out. Now, once again, we take a little bit of time and never ever chisel towards you because you will slip and you will get your hand. Now, I've gone some of the way through there and coming some of the way through. Coming back the other way and I know this is a tedious job and it is but you've only got two to do so you may as well do them correctly so once you've got most of the stuff out what I like to do here is I like to just use my hands is to come through I'm using pressure on the top and holding it on the bottom to give it a bit more control and I'm just gonna wiggle that through I'm gonna rip off whatever is excess there and my aim here is to come through and get a flat surface now Once again, I'm still staying away from that edge. And by staying away from the edge, it means that you're not gonna chip out. Because it can't chip out if you don't push over. Then, always spin the piece around to you. So instead of going the whole way through, because you're gonna get detention, come back, spin it, and come back in the other way. And you take your time there, bring it through, and push through. Now, Once that's done, clean it up, get it mostly flat. It doesn't have to be perfect. Do not sand it. Do not get a file in here. Do not get a rasp in here. We're just using a chisel. 
because it's all you need. Now, once you've got that, hopefully, your two pieces, as you can see, my two pieces are then gonna come together and slot in. And if you've got it deep enough, there'll be no gap. Now for me, it's, if you can see that, it's slightly, slightly not deep enough. So what I'm gonna do there is I'm gonna go through and remove a little bit more material from here. To do that, you should use your dovetail saw. And you, just on those edges, you're just gonna go, just half a mil down. And it's just gonna give you that little line to come through and play with. So come through, and I'm coming through a bit of an angle, and then I'm going through. And remember, I'm not going the whole way through once again. I'm just going to about the halfway mark using that. I'm getting down low to look at that joint or to look at the section I'm removing so I can really see what's going on there. Just spin it around and we come back through from the other side and hopefully Now, hopefully this will remove any of that excess. So, as you can see, I'm not in a hurry here. I'm not forcing anything. A lot of the time with woodworking, it's all about taking that slow, the slow victory. Coming back through and spend 10 minutes on a joint, 15, 20 minutes, 50 minutes if you have to, but get it done right. I think that's the most important thing with these is just making sure that they're done correctly. Now, when I spoke about having multiple glue, a lot of glue surface area, we're talking about you got glue here, glue there, glue there, and the same on the other, and then they glue to these excess pieces here, meaning that you're going to end up with a very strong, nice, beautiful looking joint. And that, my friends, is how you do a half lap joint. Remember, you need to have two of these pieces done, and congratulations on finishing your first half lap.